back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Lorena. I'm really excited to share today's video. It's our backyard makeover and the new deck that my husband built. I've been wanting to share it for a while, but our patio furniture hadn't arrived and it finally got here, which is totally fine because in the summer, it's honestly it's so hot here in Texas, so I feel like the fall is the perfect time for us to enjoy our backyard and our new deck. So I'll show you a little bit of the process of what my husband did to build it and then some of the furniture we got, things we did to style and transform our backyard and then some of the decor I'm putting out there. I'm gonna add some fall touches as well and I'm gonna add some fall decor to our front door area so I'll share that as well. So I really hope that you enjoy and if you're new, don't forget to subscribe if you love all things home. So let's get started. So here's the before of our backyard and I'll try to explain a little bit of what my husband did to build the deck. So he used cement blocks for the base footing, spaced every six feet, and then he used treated two by sixes to build the frame and then screwed the frame together with outdoor construction screws. And then he anchored the frame to the base of the house with cement anchors and then used hangers to attach the frame joist. And then he had to remove the sprinklers and cap them as well. And then we used layered composite decking on the top of the frame, so special wood for decks. And then he dug holes and filled them with cement for the planter frame, which you'll see in a second. And I love this planter that he made. And he used cedar fence pickets to build the outside of the planter and then stained all of the wood. And I really love this. We planted some flowers in here and it looks so beautiful. And then he cut sterilizers from a two by 12 treated lumber and then used hardwood for the stairs. And then we added some lights to them and it looks so pretty, especially at night. And honestly, just so proud of my husband and thankful for him. He designed it himself and built this over several weekends. He had his brothers and one of his best friends help him some of the weekends and just so thankful and amazed at the beautiful job that he did. Like I said, we planted some flowers here and we started with filling the planter with pebbles and then put soil on top of that and then we planted the flowers and we had done this right before summer started actually so i remember doing it right before my husband finished the deck right before we left to hawaii for vacation in the summer but like i said just the furniture hadn't come in so we're barely gonna start enjoying it which is fine it's just gonna be perfect weather for us to be out here And my husband also added some drainage holes to the bottom of the planter to prevent water buildup. That way the plants don't drown or anything. So they're just getting the perfect amount of water each time. And you'll see in a bit but the flowers have grown so much since we first planted them and it's just one of my favorite parts we water them like every day or every other day well actually my husband waters them not me he says I'm so bad at watering the plant so he has just taken over that chore which I'm totally okay with but they're doing so good and I really really love them and then he also added this faux grass wall to one of the sides of the fence he just used this heavy-duty stapler and we got the faux grass from Home Depot and it looks so pretty on this wall especially at night with those um, string lights that we have and then we got these planters from at home and they also look so pretty we got some plants again from home depot and just planted them in there and i just love how this turned out So like I said, our patio furniture just took so long to get here, but 
it's finally here and we've been enjoying it actually we've sat out here we've had a cookout we've had dinner out here so it's really good we actually want to get another like sofa for out here because we realize that we have enough space for it and the patio furniture we got isn't actually too big so it would fit to just put um, like the two chairs there on like one side and then the longer one on one side and then we have space for another longer one that we want to get so we'll get that soon but for right now we are just enjoying having some patio furniture out here And just adding an old doormat that I had so just for using it here and then we also got a dining table set and I love this one because it's expandable so you can extend it to make it longer so that's perfect and then I'm gonna add a couple of fall touches to this space and it's pretty much just decor that I already had and I didn't use so I'm just adding those pillows and then I got this tray in the summer which I knew I wanted to use it for outside and then again I'm just adding that decor that I had and then I'm gonna just pretty much bring it back inside and only take it out when we have guests or we're out here enjoying it so it's just some flowers some coasters and then this citronella candle and I love this lantern that I got from a target and it was on sale at the end of summer so it's perfect for this space And Batman loves his backyard and his new deck and it is just a Batman's world we are just living in it and I'm just gonna add some decor to the table so this lantern I got from at home and then adding in a battery operated candle and then this pumpkin I had and a little candle from Target And just really love how everything turned out at the end I'll show you just the before and after just so you can see the difference that it made but just so in love with our new outdoor space And now I'm just gonna move on to adding some fall decor to our front door area. So I've had this wreath for several years now, but I just wanted to give it just a little bit of change and add some color and add some pops of orange. So I got these picks from Michaels and I'm just taking off the little pumpkins that came with it. And then I'm just trying to figure out what to do with it. So I ended up taking off all of the pine cones and I just left the cream and white pumpkins. And then I'm gonna add those touches of orange. I really wanted to just have very traditional fall colors for my outdoors because in inside of my house, we have lots of neutral colors, which I love. But for the outside, I just wanted that pop of color and that super festive fall look. So I'm adding this garland that I got from Michaels, I think last year, and I'm just wrapping it around. And then I'm gonna hot glue those velvet orange pumpkins and I love how this ended up looking super festive really bright and just super beautiful for fall
Also switching out the doormat, just giving it a good sweep first. We don't have a big front porch or anything, but I still love adding decor and just switching out the festive touches for each holiday and season. And I love this layered look. The bottom flowered mat is from Joann's and then the top one that says Hello Fall is from Target a couple years ago. And then I got this bunch of twigs from Home Good several years ago as well. And then this straw bale from Hobby Lobby. And then I'm just adding some faux pumpkins. Although I do want to get real ones soon, which I think I will do. I just didn't have a chance to do that yet. So I just added the faux ones, which look fine for now. I ended up taking some of them off, but I think I will get probably some real ones this weekend. I also had this lantern, which I decided to just add my leftover like pumpkins and leftover little garland in here. And then I added a burlap bow and I just added it to the front and I think it looks really cute. It would even look pretty with some twinkle lights in there. But for now, I just left it and I still love how it looks. We have definitely been enjoying our backyard makeover and new deck and just really enjoying all of the fall vibes inside our home and outside now as well. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. You got some ideas, inspiration. If you want to do any makeovers yourselves, I appreciate you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one.